Lynette Oxley here for Tech Shack Tactical TV for our 16 days of action for no violence against women and children. I'm here with uh, one of my main range officers at the girls events and an absolute awesome shooter. Her name is Antoinette Br uh, Brighton or Ants, we all Ants, call her Ants. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome Ants. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and where your journey of shooting started. You were not uh, uh, that interested when I met you in the beginning, no. but it has changed. <laughs> no, it has changed. So I only got into the gun industry in 2017, but only with shooting, not with working directly in the industry. But I was working for a dealer at the time, just in another business of his, of the owner. Um, I st everybody who works is shoots. It's, it's part of the job. I wasn't too interested. I was quite scared of firearms. Um, I started shooting with a 45. Yes, um, you were very good. And <laughs> also, just like me, same thing. You didn't want to move away from the 45. I didn't want to move away. No, Smith & Wesson 45, yes. Um, eventually, I moved away, but only when I got my Shadow 2 Optic ready for my birthday. Very exciting. It's only then nice did I move to 9mm, yes. Um, so, since 2017, started shooting I shoot a lot better now I must say no you definitely <laughs> do <laughs> you never there. shot badly um, I didn't I think I just wasn't very confident yeah yeah I and do feel very a lot confident yeah, yeah 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 much more confident um, you're one of as I said you're one of my best range officers I haven't told you that but you have what we call command presence <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of people have command presence yeah. but you are a really excellent range officer Thank you. I'm sure you do you learn while you actually doing uh, uh, running the ranges. I do. I mean, up until even today, I would I would learn more because every time there's a different experience, different people on the line, uh, you could expect different things from them. You know, you don't know what they might do at the time, so you've got to be prepared for anything it always is. whilst being the RO. Yeah, especially with uh, some of our ladies' events, the totally newbies. Yes, uh, we're so uh, <laughs> make sure that nobody turns around yes. with a loaded firearm, yes. etc. Yeah, when they hit the targets, they get very excited, very excited. jump up and down, scream, ah! and you just have to hold to make sure no <laughs> guns gun, go yeah. <laughs> exactly for sure. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite guns uh, at this stage? Um, so I do love the Shadow, the 9mm. Um, but then my shotgun, the Panzer, the Magfit, I love that. So I used to not like um, three gun at all, yeah. but when I got that gun, I was, uh, my confidence spiked up because I shot a lot better with it. I struggled to feed the shotgun because my fingers get stuck in the... And you've also got quite longish nails. Yes, so my fingers get stuck inside. Um, Mine also uh, a couple of times because it goes into the tube. That's right. And I usually go, ow, 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 and it's like having to pull exactly. it out. So, yeah, and it's so, not pleasant. Yeah, and I, I love shooting. Nails. Yeah, yeah, the longer ones do get stuck uh, as well. Um, shotgun I love now. Yeah. So the 9mm, the shadow, um, and the shotgun. So did it change you, the way you looked at of your, uh, you carry every day or not? I do carry you every carry day. every day. Did it change the way you look at the world out there? Did it did it make you feel more empowered or more safer? What did it do for you? Yeah, I must say that um, being a farm owner grounds you. You become a lot calmer. And that's <laughs> what I say to people that don't believe me. No, you do. I mean, the responsibility around a firearm and when you, you may use it and when not to use it, you know, the decisions around it, it's, um, it's life-threatening. I mean, you can find yourself in jail. You could, you know, anything. So I feel that it really grounds a person, being a farm owner. Um, I have multiple firearms on my name, waiting for licenses to come through. Um, so yeah, a lot more confident as well because I feel that I can defend myself um, if I need to. Yeah. That's good. You've got a message for ladies that uh, that's thinking about uh, owning a firearm um, out there. What would that be? Get one. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Definitely it. get one. Find one that's comfortable in your hand. Shoot a few. Don't just go and take a gun because a man told you this is the gun to get. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Um, hold the firearm. Shoot the firearm. Uh, Get the one you're most comfortable with, definitely. But ladies, you've got to carry a gun. You must. You must. Especially if you look at the rape statistics and stuff that's just come out. It's, yes, it's, it's for it's sure. Horrific. 
I mean, yeah. other than, I don't know if uh, I'm going off of topic here, but not just a firearm. You need pepper spray, you need a knife, you need anything you can defend yourself with because Absolutely. you might be in a situation where you cannot use that firearm in that instance, but you can maybe use pepper spray to defend yourself at that time. Yeah. Yeah. I also say to the ladies, last resort is to actually use your firearm. Yes. So, um, situational awareness. Um, I look at ladies with very expensive cars and they've got their windows open yes. and they're on Facebook and I'm like, why don't you see? Because the guys that's, uh, at the robots or out there, they watch for those people that's not aware of uh, what's going on around them. So No, it is true. Um, also, you know, you've got to start being aware of what car you drive, um, specifically as a woman. You know, because they do think you're soft targets mm -hmm. until they find out you're not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so I drove a, a, a Golf 7 GTI and I went through Alex at the time, there was heavy rains. And I did have a license for my 45, but I wasn't carrying. And um, yeah. I'm sorry, that's stupid. <laughs> it was very stupid, I know. But um, I mean, I've been in attempted hijacks before, but it's never gotten to where I was at that time. Um, and uh, so in, in Alex, they tried to hijack me, had the gun at my window, at my, at my windscreen, side window. And, um, but since that day, I, I got out there luckily. But since that day, I carried. Yeah. Never not carried again. I know Alex quite well, but there's certain places I know how to get in and out. Yes. But you need to, you need to know Alex. No, for sure. Because there's one side of Alex that's actually uh, got barri bar barriers up. And if okay. you don't know about it, you stuck. can't get it, you're stuck. Yes, uh, yeah. So you all worked for quite a while in Alex and yeah, oh, you wow. have to be aware of what's what's going on around yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. Any case, thank you yeah. very much. Thank uh, you. Anything else that you would like to add? No, I think okay. we got it all. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So Lynette Oxley here for Tax Shack Tactical TV. Um, we girls on fire, goes to girls on fire. We are not victims no. and we are every woman. Thank you very much. Thank you.